and welcome back to Chronic Corner. Today's episode is all about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or EDS. Now to start off, EDS is a connective tissue disorder that is caused by various defects in the synthesis of your collagen, so your skin basically. It can cause joint extension, um, loose skin, easy bruising, circulation issues, and many more. Now, EDS has 13 different subtypes, many different kinds that have to be done by testing to determine if you have it and which type. Many people are born with EDS, but it's not present for years, which is pretty surprising. And the reason we want to talk about it here on Dinet is because it is very commonly diagnosed with POTS and with orthostatic intolerance. So 80% of POTS patients have been reported being diagnosed with hypermobility EDS, and 33% of people with orthostatic intolerance have been reported being diagnosed with hypermobility EDS. Now hypermobility basically means that you can hyperextend your joints and you're very hypermobile, so you extend and are able to stretch things further than the average person. Okay, so aside from all the symptoms of dysautonomia, patients with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome typically have loose or baggy skin, um, hyperextended joints, like I said, and or joint laxivity, or easy bruising. Now these are just a few, and I put some up on the screen so you can see all the symptoms, and they vary person to person, but those are the main ones. As for treatments for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, the most common are a strategic targeted exercise plan, a good strong medical team to help you along the way, um, pain management, uh, protection of your skin and your joints, just because if you bruise easily or even some people dislocate things easily, you want to be able to be on top of that. So hopefully this helped to give you a little basic overview of EDS and its connection with dysautonomia. For more information, visit Ehlers Stanlow Society and I put the link below. They have a ton of information on EDS that's very helpful. And visit dinet.org for more information on EDS and its connection to dysautonomia. Thank you so much for watching.